In this video, you will learn what the new version of PancakeSwap pool is like, as well as how and why migrate liquidity. Subscribe to Krypton and come along. If you don't know what PancakeSwap is and how this project works, you can watch our video about this, so it will be so much easier for you to understand the changes that have occurred. You will find the link to the video in the description or in the hints. First, we'll figure out what actually happened and later we'll tell you how to deal with it. Throughout the week, you could see the banner on the page of the PancakeSwap decentralized exchanger. And what does it mean? On April 23rd, after a poll, the migration of liquidity pools to the new version began. This is because the PancakeSwap team has updated two of their current smart contracts, essentially creating new pools of liquidity. A smart contract is a program that is stored on the blockchain and does operations, for example, decentralized exchanges of tokens or charging rewards for farming. Updating smart contracts gave more freedom to PancakeSwap development team. Now they can easily add new features that were not available with the previous version of smart contracts. For example, syrup pools with a thematic addition of earned tokens to the pool to maximize profits, referral program, reducing the emission of cake tokens which will increase its value. However, the most important change is the change in the structure of commissions charged for exchanges. Since the fourth option won in the voting on migration, the trade commission becomes 0.25%, remaining the lowest amongst all decentralized exchangers. Of these 0.25%, liquidity providers will be awarded 0.17%, 0.03% will go to the treasury to form a pool of different events, and most importantly, 0.05% will be burned, which is more than ever. At the moment, all liquidity pools and farms have been transferred to the new version of the smart contract, and now you can easily migrate liquidity from the first pool version to the updated pool. So what happens if you leave liquidity in the old version of the pool? There is no deadline for transferring liquidity. Your tokens and all received rewards remain with you and don't disappear. But by leaving liquidity on the old pool, you will no longer receive profits from the exchanges. That is, you are not required to transfer liquidity if you have a reason for that, for example, a volatile loss. In this case, you have the right to leave liquidity in the old version of the pool, as much as you need. It should be also noted that the migration does not apply to syrup pools. If you keep cake in one of these, no action is required, despite the fact that the old version of the protocol includes an automatic migration feature, the PancakeSwap team chose a manual migration method in order to reduce a bad impact on the Binance Smart Chain network. So in order to migrate liquidity, you first need to get your tokens from farming. To do this, go to farms in the menu, and then to the finish tab. The completed pools in which you still participate will automatically appear. After choosing one of these, click on unstake. If you keep your tokens on one of the liquidity aggregators, for example such as Autofarm, Beefy, Jetfuel, Pancake, Bunny and others, you will also need to withdraw them from there. You can find the liquidity aggregator that contains your LP tokens using the Yieldwatch service. Or the free alternative, Growing.fi. Links to both of these services you will find in the description. After the migration, you will be able to return your tokens to the liquidity aggregator, as most projects have already introduced the required changes. You can look up after the changes specifically on your liquidity aggregator on the project's social networks. Now, having the pool tokens on your LP balance, you need to return your liquidity, which we provided earlier. To do this, click on Trade and Menu and go to the old version of the pool. On the page that opens, you can return the tokens that you presented as liquidity. Also, if you already migrated your liquidity and you did it on April 23rd, perhaps you added liquidity on the non-working version of the pool. All users who added liquidity on the non-working version of the pool before this block number will later receive an airdrop of cake token as compensation for the inconvenience. In order to check if your tokens are in the non-working pool and return the liquidity, click on the trade menu item and go to the LP migration page. Scroll down to remove the liquidity block and click remove under the discontinued v2 lp heading on the page that opens take tokens from the idle pool now all that remains is to add tokens to the updated liquidity pool to do this everything is the same trade menu item go to liquidity further actions to add liquidity are absolutely similar to those in the old version of the pool we've showed this process in our video about farming on pancake swap 
Having provided liquidity and received pool tokens, you can send them in the newer version of farming by going into the farm page in the menu. The new version of farming works exactly the same as the old version, which is also discussed in our previously mentioned video. And on top of that, the first users to migrate liquidity will be able to enjoy increased profits for some time. This update will bring many interesting innovations. All the links are in the description. Krypton is your ultimate guide in the cryptocurrency world and have a nice day.